When these people went to visit an open zoo, they didn't expect one lion to do this. With their royal look and powerful roar, lions are known as the kings of the jungle. A confrontation with one of these amazing creatures would have any explorer running for their life. Despite their intimidating reputation, however, not all lions are as scary as they look. In fact, this particular lion is a downright teddy bear, although no one expected him to do what he did. Philia the lion is one of the big cats who lives at the Taigan Safari Park in Russia, and in 2018, he gave a few visitors a once-in-a-lifetime experience that they surely will never forget. The Taigan Safari Park is owned by the famous lion whisperer Oleg Zubkov, who actually encourages visitors to interact with the animals that he has living at his facility. He does this by offering an open zoo safari experience, where the tourists are driven through the zoo's enclosures in an open buggy, which any animal can get into if they feel like it. On this particular day, a group of tourists were going through the zoo's different enclosures when they finally came across the lion enclosure. The open-sided vehicle that they were riding in was being driven by Oleg, who had no worries about being in a space with a group of very big and potentially very dangerous predators. As the tour went on, the visitors spotted a fully grown lion lazing around on the side of the path. As they approached the animal, the lion, who is called Philia, took an interest in them. Being an open zoo, it meant that there was no protection between the patrons and the big cat, so absolutely anything could happen, be it good or bad. Philia lazily walked up to the left-hand side of the buggy, causing all of the visitors to freeze in their seats. What was going to happen? Well, I can guarantee that nobody expected what came next. The lion, without missing a beat, hopped right into the front of the cart to give his trainer a giant hug. Although the interaction with Philia could easily have turned into something much more tragic, it's clear that this king of the jungle is actually just a sweet teddy bear. Philia had no interest in attacking the visitors or his trainers. In fact, he just wanted some cuddles and hugs. A video taken by one of the tourists showed the giant lion hopping into the vehicle and sitting in the front seat. Because of his huge size, Philia forced both of his trainers out of the car as he tried to fit in with them. It's almost as if he has no clue to how massive he actually is and secretly just wants to be a lap cat. Once in the cart, the animal doesn't seem to want to move. It takes a couple of shoves from behind from Oleg to finally force the beast from the front of the vehicle and back onto the ground. But Philia isn't finished there though. After getting a bit of a fuss off of his trainer, the large lion then climbs into the back of the cart and onto all of the tourists there. He continues to ask for a fuss off of pretty much everybody and even gives one lady a few licks on her face. As the lion licked her face, Mr. Zubkov said, those who do not want to film closer can go out. However, the tourist responds, no, we want to. Oleg tries to get the big cat out of the buggy, but it takes all of the tourists getting out first to convince the large animal to finally leave. Once he is gone, the visitors quickly get back in the cart and drive off again so that the cuddly cat can't sneak back in. Interestingly though, Philia is not the only lion at the park who loves to show affection. In an interview with the UK Mirror, park director Tatiana Alexagina said, If a giant lioness jumps into your arms while you drive around Safari Park and purrs like a cat, then you can be sure that this is Lola from Chelyabinsk. Life in the park has transformed her into one of the kindest animals we've ever seen. In fact, she's so passionate in jumping into the safari bus with kisses and hugs that many tourists can't handle it. It's crazy to see such dangerous, exotic creatures interacting with humans in such a gentle way due to their deadly nature and incredible powerful jaws, which could easily snap an arm. Lions' speed and teeth make them natural predators, but despite the dangers, Oleg says his visitors are safe with him. In fact, the trainer recently guarded headlines for breaking up a lion fight using nothing but a slipper. According to UK Metro, a group of lions was harassing a young lioness. When Obkab stumbled onto the scene, he walked walked straight up to the growling animals and threw a slipper at the ringleader. Apparently, that was all it took for them to realize who's boss. Since being posted on YouTube, the video has been viewed thousands of times. Some people have commented, with one YouTuber saying, he's familiar with people. He hugged the driver immediately. He then went on to nuzzle and lick passengers. He's happy and well cared for. Respect him always and you'll be fine. Whilst another person said, Oh my God, those people are so lucky. Not only did the lion not hurt anybody, but they got to cuddle with it. I want to cuddle a lion. But this video wasn't the first time that news about Russian people interacting with these amazing animals had come from this park. 
In 2016, a Russian photographer captured photos of the lions at the park, playing with visitors, accepting kisses from them, and even sitting still for selfies. The Daily Mail reported that Mr. Zubkov, who is a conservationist, said that he hoped the photographs would help discourage people from hunting Siberian tigers. There are more than 50 lions at the Safari Park, which is the biggest lion park in Europe. Approximately 1,500 other animals and birds also reside there, including tigers. But in 2019, a court ruled that the Walk with the Lions Safari Trail had to be closed due to the safety concerns that it posed to the visitors who went there. This is because a lion is still a wild animal, no matter what, and one of them could possibly hurt an unsuspecting visitor if something went wrong. But not everybody's reaction about how visitors can interact with the animals has been positive. Some believe such close contact between animals and humans is not a good idea. In an interview with the BBC about an unrelated zoo, naturalist Claudio Bertonati said that there were two main reasons why being close to a wild animal is risky. The first is that there is a risk of diseases being transmitted from visitors to animals, or vice versa. If a particularly bad virus managed to jump into humans, it could lead to a pandemic which could affect people worldwide. Secondly, the visitor's safety is also at risk. Who says any of these animals, be it a tiger, a lion, or an elephant, won't attack a person, he said. The Tiger and Safari Park has also drawn criticism online. In July, Captive Wildlife Watchdog, a Facebook page that aims to change the way humanity perceives and values wild and captive wild animals, said in a post, the dignity of these majestic beasts at Tigon Safari Park has been stripped away, reducing them to mere commodities. Some animal rights activists have even accused Oleg of sedating the lions so that they are more docile and playful with the visitors of the park. Whilst some people might see this as true, others might argue that it is a new way to do conservationism. By allowing people to get up close and personal with these types of animals, they might become more aware about their plights in their natural environments, such as being hunted by poachers. This could raise more awareness for the species, which could also lead to better protections for them in the wild. It is an argument that has both negatives and positives, but one thing is for sure, no one is going to be forgetting their experience with Philia the lion anytime soon. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to get more inspiring content.